Um, but yeah, obviously, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, that's recording. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I went to B&M the other day to buy something. What did I go to buy? A frame for Joe's present for the baby shower. And like you do when you're in B&M, you accidentally buy things you do not need. And I went down the kind of summer kind of, I don't really know, like garden party aisle. And I came across this, which is the Magical Slush Maker. And I came home and I was like, Dean, I bought this thing. And he told me off because I need to stop buying stupid things. But it was only 2 99 And I've seen these on Amazon and they were like £15. So I really wanted to buy them. But basically, they're like one of those adverts that have all those like cringy kids like doing the thing. And it's like, this is never going to be something that works. But I wanted to try it because I have to prove to myself that it doesn't work. But basically, it says, it's as easy as one, two, three. Step one, add a magical freezer cubes. Step two, add juice and shake and then enjoy your magical slush. So I was like, this is already cool. And then I found these, which are Tango Easy, Easy Squeezy like Ice Pops. So they're like the, um, just the ice pops that you kind of put in your freezer um, and they come like as a liquid like from the shop you don't buy them as frozen you buy them like as a liquid and then you just put them in the freezer but I thought these are the flavors of Tango Ice Blast so well it was orange and apple cherry and blue raspberry um, but I thought cherry and blue raspberry are the flavors that you get at the cinema like for like Tango Ice Blast so I thought if I had these and the magical slush maker could I make a Tango Ice Blast from home? So that basically that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try and make a Tango Ice Blast from home without a Tango Ice Blast maker. I have no idea how this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. So I think I'm going to try and do blue raspberry because that's my favourite flavour. Like if this works, I'm going to be making Tango Ice Blast like all year round. Okay. I've already put the magical freezer cubes in the freezer and it says you're supposed to freeze them for 24 hours or longer and mine have been in there for a lot longer than that. A lot longer than that. Ooh. So you get your magical cup and then it comes with like a straw kind of spoon thing. I don't really know what this is for. I guess like... Ooh. I guess for like eating. Oh yeah, it's like for eating. Right, I'm gonna go get the magical ice cubes from the freezer. <laughs> so these are the magical ice cubes. They just look like ice cubes, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna take the lid off my magic cup. If this works. <laughs> but why are they, what, what's magic about them? I don't know, it's just an ice cube. So these are the cubes, they're like plastic. So I'm gonna put them into the magic cup. Oh, okay, right there in the magic cup. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut open all of the Tango. Are you sure that's right? You meant to just, are oh, you not gonna open the bag? No, you meant to just put them in it. Really? Yeah, I promise you. So I'm gonna cut these open. I don't want to get blue anywhere in our Didn't house. Want to go anywhere. If we get blue on this carpet, we're in the flat, by the way. I don't know how quickly you have to like do this. Do you know so I mean? I've just realised that this isn't a cheaper way of having Tango Ice Blast. It's probably cheaper to just go to the cinema, but <gasps> it's in the carpet. Dean, it's in the carpet. Dr. Beckman's carpet cleaner at the rescue. How does this work? Why don't you just wipe it, Brian? That works. Whoa. These are not frozen. Well, this is great stuff for cleaning the carpet. I feel like my my way was a lot easier, to be honest. Do you not? Yeah. <laughs> Dean, have you got a cloth? Oh, you're a superstar. 
Where just like underneath my feet here because I'm gonna like pour it and I feel like it's gonna drip okay and I'm just gonna pour this into this without trying to spill it on the carpet this is what we do in one wallet well that went well okay and now it says all you have to do is put the lid on you have to put your finger over the hole I think you're doing that up. place your finger over the hole on the lid and shake for a few minutes until desired slushiness okay are you seeing this this is literally liquid with the magic ice cubes in there and i'm assuming before your eyes it's going to turn into slushy so you put careful because it's going everywhere this is not worth the effort you're better off just going cold. that is going slushy it says you can do it with fizzy drinks fruit juices cordial energy drinks and milkshakes so why did you buy that? You could have just bought Tango itself. Yeah, but you can't buy Tango Blue. Oh. Can you? No. And if these don't work in the slushy machine thingy. Um, it's going slushy. Is it? These will be great in the summer to just have as like an ice pot. They had slush puppy versions as well in B&M. So obviously I bought two packets of those two. They were like 80p and like the original slush puppy flavors. You have to shake it quite a lot. Oh. It's not worth the graft, is it? Like, I mean, you have to shake it quite a lot. I mean, it's going slightly slushy. Keep shaking. Don't stop shaking. Oh, no one else really want one of those slushy makers that they used to have on TV, like the actual slush puffing machines when you were younger that used to be in the Argos catalogue. Every single year without fail, I would circle them and cut them out and put them on my Christmas and birthday list. Never got them, so I'm like reliving my childhood right here because i'd have loved this as a child i mean i'm loving it as an adult but i would have loved this as a child and that doesn't work so far no good i'm gonna continue to shake and see how it goes i can't believe i fooled for this Help. i mean it's it Did I do something wrong? So I've been shaking this for like 10 minutes. And Dean's been shaking it. And I mean, does this look like slushy to you? No. It's made my drink very cold. I'm so disappointed right now. I'm gonna try it again, but at the moment, I'm giving this a massive thumbs down. Do not pull a briny. Sorry if you can hear the cars going past, by the way. Do not pull a briny and get sucked in to marketing things like this because it doesn't work. Now I really wanna to go to the cinema and get one. Anyway, so that didn't work. But now I've tried it out so you guys don't need to. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend the Magic Slush Maker. I'm sorry, b and I'm sorry, whoever invented this in the first place. The carpet cleaner was good though, at least. The carpet cleaner was great, yeah. The Dr. Beckman carpet cleaner. This was fab. So if you're looking for a carpet cleaner, and it has a little brush on the end, this is brilliant. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in my next video.